Welcome to a brand new game called Mars Horizon. Uh, Mars Horizon is a uh, game developed by Auroc Digital, and they—I uh, don't know how to explain it. Basically, you're 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 building. It's a it's a simulator where you're building a rocket ship to go into space. You're competing against other countries, and um, you know your goal is to get to Mars. Uh, and I think there's more after that, but we haven't gotten to that part yet. I played a lot of it on stream today. I got about two hours in. Um, the game uh, comes out uh, a week from today, I believe. Um, so it comes out in a week. Uh, so it'll be next week. Today is the 13th of November, 2020. I got an early key. I'm sure there'll be some fixes along the way and uh, some changes. We're in version 1.0.11. Uh, 0.1.1. There we go. Okay, so we're going to start a new game, and I'm going to try to go through this as quick as I can. I want to I want to kind of cover all the basics and what I learned um, real quickly about what I needed to do. Now, when I played, I played as Japan, and I think I'm going to do that again just so that I know uh, what to expect. And as Japan, I, I, I'm we're already at odds with China. Um, the... Obviously, ESA in America is going to be going pretty quick. Same with the Soviet Union at the beginning. But I'm hoping to be able to fix that and do a little bit better. Um, so we're going to dive in. Uh, just stay with me. Run with me here. And uh, I'm going to... Because I don't have a lot of time, but I really wanted to put something out. Um, so we're going to turn off that. We're going to go Pioneer. Uh, auto Resolve, Auto Resolve option will be available for request. I don't... Yeah, that. Okay. Um, there. Okay, let's go. So, uh, we're obviously the first, uh, person here. We're, we're getting ready to start our planet. Now here's, here's the setup. You've got your money up here. This is how much we're making each round 51 K. Uh, this is how much research we get each round each month, uh, a, a round or a month is, uh, right here. You can, you'll, you'll see here in a second. Um, and then we've got our, uh, support. Now, the more support we get, the more money we get. And to get more support, you want to, uh, uh, do missions and, uh, accomplish different missions and goals and stuff like that. Uh, over here on the left, we've got our research, which there is a lot of research to do all the way down to here, which I believe is someone to, uh, we can land on Mars. Uh, and then there's another one to go out into the further solar system. So there's a lot of stuff here and... What's really cool is as you progress, you get bonuses. So like there's a bonus here from uh, accomplishing these ones all the way down to this dotted line. So everything researched in here gets this bonus and then everything in the next se section. There's buildings, which uh, we're going to want to do a small launch pad for sure. And then there's uh, rockets that we're going to want to research as well. Um, for me personally, I think... Uh, the best is to get down uh, past all these. Just get a bunch, get eight things researched in here so that we can get the advanced demolition because it takes down 50% removal costs. And that stuff is expensive. Uh, but we also need to start doing some of our missions as quick as possible. So there's a lot of different things. Uh, I also found that doing, uh, I think it's Jupiter uh, launch pack and the Able launch pack are some of the better ones, in my opinion. Uh, but I haven't tried the other ones. So those, that's what we got there. Then, uh, and that's research. We've got active missions, which we can't do yet. We've got our base. Now this is our base. And um, like I said, there's, there's a couple bugs in the game. So I'm not going to move around too much and explore a lot. But uh, each of these rock and gra uh, tree formations, they're, they cost money to remove uh, kind of a lot. This one costs a thousand K. So, uh, and we only have a hundred K. So it's, it's going to cost a lot. The cool thing is that as you build these buildings and place them down, they have bonuses. So there's perks. So we're getting a plus 20 per month on science on research because we've got our vehicle hanger attached to our headquarters. Now that doesn't always work uh, in a positive way. Sometimes it's a negative. So you want to be careful about what you set up with other things. And I'm hoping in the future they have a, a better breakdown rather than having to put things next to each other to see what works best because 
I wasted a lot of money just moving buildings because it does cost money to move a building around and uh, you don't want to do that because you need all the money you can get. Uh, then there's diplomacy. You've got your overview here. You can see that our um, relations with America and Russia or the Soviet Union is eh, it's not horrible. It's not, it's not bad. Uh, we're neutral, completely neutral with the ESA and uh, China is not huge fans of us. Um, just because that's historic, I guess. Uh, <clears throat> so as you, uh, the reason you'd want better diplomatic relations is that you get 25% funds reward for lucrative type requests. So we get more money when they're requesting missions to us and we get, uh, more science bonuses. Oh no, that's us. Um, we can, we, we share information is what it comes down to. And you'll see different pop-ups will show up. Um, let's see, that's diplomacy. Then there's the uh, all the historical stuff. Um, you can all you, just so many things here, man. There are a lot of entries in the Spacepedia. Uh, if we click on Earth, we can see our first stuff here, right? Now this is a test launch. Uh, we're gonna plan this mission first, um, so we're gonna want to plan this, uh, get ahead of everybody else. As you progress, you'll unlock more avail more. Uh, you can do more missions at once. You can do, uh, you'll unlock other mission types and uh, you can actually make a lot of money from that. So we cannot, we can build our own rocket. Uh, currently we just have a sounding rocket and we can name it. We're gonna name this uh, test rocket just because I'm not feeling very creative at the moment. Uh, and then um, it's got a 25% launch reliability. So it's gonna fail. But the cool thing is that when you fail, you still learn. Uh, so that's nice. So it's gonna we're gonna set this up to build um, and uh, We're gonna do a test rocket. We just want to make sure that we can do it. It's gonna take two months. Okay So we'll go back to mission control we'll, uh, we could have gone back to the solar system But uh, I just want to show you there's different requests that you'll get uh, whether it's a joint operation with another country or a request from um, some company Okay, so now that we've done that we'll go ahead and go to the next month. You can just fast forward to the next uh, event, but I like to go per month because sometimes research gets done. Uh, okay, so we are gonna want, I th think, uh, a booster. So we'll do that first and you can hover over it and see how long it'll take to build it, how long it's gonna cost, how much it's gonna cost, how much research it costs. This is gonna take us two months to research because we're only getting 120 and this is 150. So we're gonna wanna do as many missions as possible to try to up our support the more missions and more successful missions we have the better it'll be for us now we unlocked a small launch pad which we will have to have we have one month of build time on this and as you can see here the upkeep for each building is different um i mean you can't see that but i'm telling you it is uh, right now i think most of them are at 5k some of the bigger ones are 10k this uh launch pad has a five K upkeep. So it's going to lower the amount of money we make each month. However, you can also see in the bottom right corner there, there's a minus 1% payload reliability. So we want our payload reliability to be pretty high. Uh, payload reliability is when we attach a satellite or uh, really anything to the rocket. And we want to make sure that the reliability of that item is great. Uh, and so we're going to move this guy. We're not going to have him attached to our headquarters at all. We're going to just go ahead and put him right here because then we don't have to spend any money to remove uh, trees or anything like that. So we'll put him right there. And then we'll, and that's going to take um, how uh, one month. So next month it'll be built and, uh, and then we'll be able to test our rocket um, in a month. So we'll go to next month. Launch pads complete. And now we get to look at our, there's no effect. Now, sometimes when you build something, you'll get uh, some bonus effects to it. It's not every time, but I found that a good chunk of it, it does happen. All right, let's go to our, our launch reliability. It's very low, but that's our first one. So, you know, we're bound to fail. Um, there is training, but you have to unlock things to be able to do that. We're not there yet. And uh, we get to choose a launch date. Now, this is pretty important. This is really cool to me because you get to choose. It shows optimal, suboptimal. So we can choose how far in advance we want to go 
and and like yeah and it's just it's so cool to me so we're gonna pick april which i think is the next month because we're in march so we'll pick april just get it out of the way get it up and going uh we'll go ahead and confirm this one we'll go back to our solar system and uh and then we'll just uh i think we're researching still we got one more yep we got one more on this we'll go ahead and go to the next part here really solid fuel yep our research is completed and we unlocked the moon so now uh we know that the moon is there and we can go check it out if we want but we also have a test launch uh there's no training set so we can't do any of that uh, optimal date we're gonna go ahead and do this uh, we might be one of the first to launch. It looks like every, it'll tell you when other countries are doing things, which is really cool because you know where you are in a bit of a race with them because you are kind of in a race. If anybody's ever played like Civ 5 or Civ 6 or anything, you kind of get the idea that you got to you gotta go quick. You got to take care of a bunch of stuff. Okay, excellent conditions. It adds 10% to our reliability, which is great, 35%. This is a negative event. There's a huge possibility that we are not going to do well here. Uh, that's to be expected. If we get up here, fantastic. But it's not great. Um, so let's go for it. What's also, what you'll notice there is that because I picked Japan, it's in the Japan language. It's so, it, it, it's in Japanese, Japan language. I'm dumb. God, that's so cool to me. I just, I love that. I love watching that. It succeeded. It it looked like it succeeded. There was some systems damage, minus 20%, 25% of mission reward. So it went up, it didn't explode. And that's, that's good. In my book, that's good. Uh, that goes one up on the rocket. So it raises the um, success rate of 15%, which is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so we were the first ones to launch. We were the first one to do a test launch. So we get bonus up here, uh, which is, uh, that's a thumbs up, thumbs down. So that's that's great for us. And we get 250 for one month. So we're going to get a bonus research, uh, which is phenomenal. Absolutely. I love that word. I never use that word. That's so good. All right, let's go ahead over back to research here. Like I said, um, I've done... I tend to try to get pretty far on some of these. I only use the Jupiter and the Able. And the reason for those is um, the Jupiter wasn't... The, the Jupiter is more expensive, but uh, it has more launch reliability. And that's what I really wanted. Uh, whereas this one has less reliability, but it has a little bit more uh, reliability per level, which I haven't quite... Uh, which... As you saw when we leveled this one, when we when we completed, it went up a level. Well, that adds 2% per level. So I think we get a bonus. I think that's what that means. Now, I'm not doing the tutorial because I don't I don't like doing tutorials. I just like going for it. Uh, a research lab will help us immensely. Um, however, I do want to keep going forward in trying to uh, take care of, you know, whatever we can do. Um, okay, so we can't do anything else here. Um, I want to, I want to keep pushing forward and try to be the first because we do get bonuses for that. And last time I did not do that. <laughs> okay. So we have a funding review in nine months, um, which will, uh, they'll ch change how much we make. So for the next nine months, we're still getting the same amount. Okay. We researched that. That's great. Uh, let's go ahead and research a uh, rocket test pad. Oh, wait. Are we still researching this? We're not researching. Oh, I was researching this one. No, we're researching this. Rocket test pad. Change research. Yes, do that. And then uh, we're going to want these three things. And uh, it's going to cost a little bit of money, but it's fine. Because we don't have any missions we can do yet. Uh, however, we can build rocket test pad. We do have enough money for it. Now, this one only gives us plus a uh, bonus of 1% launch reliability against uh, if it's connected to this building. If I connect it to both of these, 
we get minus 3% of the vehicle build cost, and they do get costly. So I find that that to be a better idea because we're not getting any bonuses from there. So I'm going to go ahead and, and put it here. It's going to cost us a little bit more to build it because we got to remove the uh, trees here, but that's okay. I'm fine with that. All right, let's go back over to research. We've got a test pad. Uh, this is a assembling uh, area. We uh, should have almost enough on the next round, but I'm going to go ahead and focus on the Lambda upper stage rocket so that we can start doing, uh, hopefully get another mission and start focusing uh, on that. Um, we do need to... Oh, this is what we want. We're going to focus on the artificial satellite. This is uh, this is a really cool uh, thing that they've added on this mission. And uh, you'll see here in a few. We'll go ahead and skip. Uh, they did... Look at that. ESA completed their test launch. They were second, and the USA was third. And if we click here, you can see how everyone's faring. Um, they're going to launch in two months. And they uh, will launch mission in zero months. So China's launching, I guess, now. Um, all right, let's 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 move forward. That's completed. We've now got another mission, I believe. Cool. Uh, this is a atmosphere and solar emission measurements. Uh, but I want the ABLE. I want another... Because we're going to have to... Okay, so here's... Let me break this down again. This is the rocket that's going to propel us. This is also got to be uh this has got to have capacity to be able to hold things that we're launching and it's going to be pretty important uh moving forward so we're going to research that one um i don't think okay so we can start focusing on this test launch high altitude photography we'll plan this mission right uh we get to design our, our ship a little bit build a sounding rocket uh sounding rocket sounding rocket. Uh, we can't it looks like we can't. It's got a 41%. We'll name this um, uh, low atmos photo uh, shoot. Uh, shoe. Yeah, we'll just say shoe. <laughs> uh, we'll do that and build time. And um, we don't have these yet. We're still working on those, though. So that's, that's okay. We'll go ahead and build this. Go to the solar system. Next month, let's go. Next month. Okay, nothing happened. We're still researching. Okay, Soviet Union proposed research exchange. Uh, they've proposed an exchange of technology research. They are offering to share their spacecraft assembly facility research if your agency shares its research on rocket test pad. Southern offer will unlock the research spacecraft. Now, this is good and bad. But I think we're just going to go ahead and do say agree to the exchange so that we can forward uh, research. It'll be faster and we, and we gain some reputation with them. So that's that's good. Now, sometimes saying no will actually benefit us on um, when it comes to our review to make more money. It just depends. You really kind of have to weigh the options on that. All right. We're going to go ahead. Uh, we got nothing. It's 41 percent. We're going to launch the preparations. This is really uh oh we could do some training okay so this is basic training so here's how this works uh we do some basic training this is launch reliability training for each bonus month we get plus three percent our max is 15 so we can go five five extra months out and get a bonus of 15 um percent increase on the base launch reliability which is really good uh we'll select our launch date so this is going to give us six nine twelve 15. So this would be, ideally, this is, would be where we'd want to launch, but instead we're going to go here. This here is our review. Uh, the problem here is that I would love to try to launch this, but at 44%, I don't think our reliability is going to be so great. So let's go ahead and go out. We'll take the risk, because uh, if we lose, I don't want to lose any funding, and right now we're up so we can get more funding. I hope I'm not going too fast for you. I feel like I am. But uh, I'm just really excited about the game. So just trying to cover everything out um, because I've, I've got the time. Uh, I've got like 30 minutes and I got to <laughs> edit and post and everything. So we're, we're going to we're diving through this real quick. Um, OK, we can build a spacecraft facility. We should have probably done that first. Uh, as you can see, there's there's a lot of things here that I kind of wish I knew 
what it would work well with. Um, this will work. This is minus 2% vehicle build cost plus 1% payload reliability. Over here on these two items, minus 2 build time, minus 3 build time. Um, so really, it just comes down to what, where do I want? I want build cost down and payload reliability. So we're going to go ahead and put the facility here. It's going to get pricey as we start to try to get some of these other ones. So I really want to make sure to continue to try to be first on some of these launches, but uh, it's going to, it's going to get tricky. It's going to get really tricky. Uh, let's head back over to buildings and do a uh, research lab. Um, although this would be a good one to do, but we're not quite there yet. So we're going to, we've got that set up funding review in two months. Nothing happened that month. That's fine. Okay. Over the last 12 months, 125. So it goes up because we're doing really good. So they're like, yeah, have some more money. So we get some more money. This is awesome. Thank you for the extra money. I appreciate that. Uh, the spacecraft assembling is built. Uh, research lab is completed. Uh, so we can go ahead and add. We're going to start researching that. And then we're going to go over here to the base. And we're going to try to build a research lab for 100K. Um, let's see. Where, where we can... Uh, we should be able to rotate this nope that's this one this one there it is okay so this we don't have enough money because there's a lot to that's in our way this would low lower the cost uh these add more per month uh which is not helpful that lowers the cost that i really want this here this is where i want it because it would attach to both of these facilities and that'll lower, lower the cost. But we don't have enough right now. Uh, it's going to cost us way too much. So we'll go here instead. Um, yeah, we'll go here instead. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just get next event. All right, cool. Research. We've researched that. Uh, we're going to aim for... Got three done here. Uh, this will give us the mission control. will add another mission slot, which is really good. But I want the power backup generator because I found that that helps out a lot. Uh, we actually had an event happen on stream where we got bonus stuff because we had a backup generator and we didn't have any issues. So that was really nice. Um, do we have a mission going right now? We don't. We should have. Um, we're going to try this one again. Um, oh, it's two months till launch. Okay. Okay. So this will be the next one. We'd have no more available. Uh, looks like they already did the artificial satellite. So we would be last on this one. That's a bummer. We'll launch in two months. Yeah. Okay. So we're, we're behind on this. Um, let's go ahead. I just want to get to the next, uh, launch to see if we can, we can do this. Let's launch. And then, uh. We'll call it. So this is high alt altitude photography. We're going to launch our mission. We're going to have 56% reliability. That's pretty good. Uh, it's not raining. Normally, you'll see a storm. You'll see something. It'll show you and give you the option to reschedule, which is really nice. Uh, I really like that. It gives it a, a bit of a realism to it that, that is pretty cool. Uh, all right. Our, relaunch, our launch ability is 61% because it went up five because of the weather conditions. This is fantastic. I think we got a good shot here. Come on, baby. Come on. That looks really good. That looks really good. Following event occurred during launch. Oh my gosh, look at that, 99%. Holy cow, that was incredible. Plus 50% mission reward, okay. Dude, 15% increase on that sounding rocket. Fantastic. What do we get? A bonus of 50% on that. Oh man, that's great. Wow. That's so cool. Okay. Well, that was fantastic. Um, all right. That's going to be it for me today. 
I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you want to see more, let me know down in the comments below. I'm actually planning on doing more because I want to see how far we can get with this. Uh, thanks for watching. Again, the game is called Mars Horizon. It comes out next week. And uh, yeah, it's pretty addictive. It's really, really, I mean, look at this. We've got moon. We've got the moon. We can't explore more, but you will be able, as you unlock more missions, you'll be able to see a lot more of space here. And uh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm definitely very, I'm, I'm all in, man. I'm all in. All right. Thanks for hanging out and uh, be good to each other. I'll catch you next time. I'm out.